Good morning, it's just coming up to 5am and I've got another early start. I'm heading up to the north of Belgium again. I have another bird hide booked for today, which I'm really excited about. And the weather forecast is supposed to be sunny and partly cloudy, but I do hope that this cloud actually lifts because when I was at the bird hide last month, the morning session from about 7 through to half past 10 um, was very challenging. So I'm hoping the cloud will lift, but for now I've got to hit the road and I've got about an hour's drive and I'll see you when I get up there. and um, got myself set up but you can probably see that it's actually quite dark here there's um, two windows there's a window to the front with a small reflection pool here <coughs> and then there's a window at ground level on this side and that opens up into a much larger pond I'm actually going to work this side because there's a lot more bird activity on this window but we've got um, blue tits, great tits, chaffinch there's a greater spotted woodpecker that's coming, a lot of starlings, a few pigeons, a couple of robins, uh, male and female chaffinch as well. So it's looking pretty promising. I'm hoping on this side maybe we'll get some reed warblers a little bit later on. Um, and then as I get into the session I'll, I'll show you my setup and um, give you a little bit of a view as to what we're seeing on both sides of the, the hide. On the side where you've got the larger pond, there hasn't really been that much activity. Um, there's a moorhen and a nest with a couple of chicks, um, and they just keep crossing the reeds. But there haven't really been that many birds coming. Um, obviously with all the reeds there, it's probably a lot of cover, so it's difficult to spot if there are any reed warblers there. That would be very, very cool if I could get one of those. So this is the front view that I have on the smaller pond. So I'm just going to talk a little bit about composition um, with regards to bird hides, um, and specific to this bird hide, but the principles are very, very similar no matter which bird hide you use. Um, the bird hides that I use, um, the owner, he has some excellent uh, setups and uh, he's landscaped them very, very well. So I'm just going to film a couple of the um, the views that I've got outside here and then explain a little bit how to use those as uh, compositional elements for when the birds come in. And I'm just going to use this camera to zoom in on a couple of the features and um, then explain a little bit how those features actually not only attract the birds but can be used as really good natural frames for composition. So the first is on the left here you see that there's a log lying down and that's where you see some of these uh, great tits coming in and feeding on there but there are little elements there where you see the birds land so a great starting point is to focus in on that area and just get your camera fixed and focused on one of those um, broken branches off that log and you guarantee the bird will come in and you'll be able to get a shot. On the right side we have a similar situation a log lying down but also a, a perch there, a branch that's uh, sticking up. So again, another good way of banking your shot is to focus in on one of those perches and, and wait until the bird comes in. Two nice features here, you have uh, a branch that's just sticking up with an arch and another little perch there and another little branch that's in an arch there in the water. Um, with the right light that should make a nice reflection as well. I'm 
mentioned before, the compositional elements that we have outside in the landscape around the two different ponds. And um, I'm just going to show you the back of the camera, um, just so you can see what I was talking about. So I'm focused in on the log itself, so when a bird comes in here or here, then I'm ready to take the shot. So that's a relatively easy way to build the compositional element of the frame that you want before the subject enters the frame. The final element is you actually have these trees. And here we see a couple of greater spotted woodpeckers. It's always important to look at the surroundings because birds will come in on these trees and again they make for some great shots. I just stepped out the hide for a bit because um, a lot of the birds that were here are pretty much the same and I photographed most of them same species so as I mentioned um, a lot of chaffinch, robins, um, the greatest spotted woodpeckers and blue tits and great tits so as the birds are recycling um, a little bit at the moment I thought I'd step outside just give you a quick tour of where I am um, so you can see how this hide is set up because I think it's always good to see how these hides are constructed and the orientation of them and what you actually see on the outside it often gives you a different perspective compared to what you see from the inside and also actually when you capture the images so let me just give you that tour so there's the entrance to the hide you see that it's uh, actually not that high so once you're inside um, you're actually on your knees you can see here we have the small pool we have the front window of this hide and then we have this small pond with the perches and the wood and the logs that I mentioned before. So let me just show you the inside of the hide. As you can see not much height but there's a, a low seat there which is very comfortable with cushions and you've got the view all the way through. Two sides on the left side the small pond straight ahead you've got the, the larger pond um, and yeah, it's very, very comfortable to spend a day in. And then coming around to the front, you can see here, there's a, a larger window. Um, the window's actually open, which is really interesting. And there's just a very fine net. It doesn't really get in the way in terms of focus, so it's not a problem. But there's a couple of perches here as well. But the pond's actually very large. Apparently there's some reed warblers that are in the reeds. We have the moorhen that's around as well. I'll just pan so you can see that. And of course one of the other aspects of uh, bird hides that really helps, especially the environment, is actually having the bird boxes here. We've got one bird box here, and if I bring you around we have another bird box here, and of course birds nesting, uh, they become habituated to the area. So this, this is actually a really nice spot. Both ponds are pretty much deserted now. Um, on this side there were more hens nesting and some chicks. They've gone all the way back to their nests down the under, other end of the pond. And this smaller pond where the majority of the activity has been for most of the morning is pretty much deserted now. But now it's just the odd blackbird coming in with a mouthful of worms every now and again. Um, so I'm going to stick it out a little bit longer. You never know. Um, there might be a flurry of birds that comes back. Um, the light's been great today, it's really been good. Uh, this 
some cloud cover, but there've been some nice patches of sun uh, illuminating various spots around the, around the pond, which is made for really good uh, photography. did say that the only birds coming in right now were blackbirds with mouths full of worms and I think that's going to be my last shot. Um, it's been a great day, I've been here seven hours and um, would have liked a little bit more diversity but I really can't complain. It's been excellent light today and so the shots I have got um, I'm really happy with. If you liked today's video then you can check out my other videos on my channel and even subscribe and I'll catch you next time. Thanks!